folks, I'm reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9, chapter, from verse 9 through 10. Or do you not know that the righteous, unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, idolaters, adulterers, nor, nor the F, F, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetousness, nor drunkards, nor revilers, or nor swindlers, will inherit the kingdom of earth. Um, these verses put on my heart for a long time. God wants us to be holy, and God, God wants us to do what God wants us to do. He wants us to live the like He wants us to live. He doesn't want us to live what the world says is okay. He, we can't live as the world sees it. We need to live the way God sees it. And, um, and that's holiness. And the only way we can be holy is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way to holiness. We need to have our lives rock centered on Jesus Christ. We need to know Jesus Christ just as we know ourselves. And to do that, we need to open the Bible, trust God no matter what, pray, go to church, worship, help other people when we can, doing God's way, living God's way, and uh, as being, ce being celibate until you get married, and having a husband and a wife, a man and, and a wife, Deliver you the way God wants us. There, there are two genders, male and female. And no matter what the devil puts in your head, knowing that it's wrong, and knowing what's good and evil through the Bible, through the Word, and staying in the Bible as your guide to life. I don't know about you, but it's not easy. Having your foundation on Jesus Christ, it's it's that's where prayer comes in. That's where your family comes in. Knowing what's right and living the way God wants us to live. So keep looking up. Keep trusting God, and no matter what, it's all about God. It's all about Jesus. And keep praying for our country.